Alvatira became the best RLCS player. From one team to another, they become the best in the world. And this guy is a key part. Today, we break down what he does and how he does it. Now, besides panicking and using his reset, he catches it. Let's just say this gameplay will blow you away. Hey guys, we are on the road to 100k subs. If you guys are new, be sure to like and comment. It really does help the algorithm and enjoy the video. All right, we're going to jump right into it. And this time we actually are up against Zen. So... But Bati has Hyder on his team. I'm not sure if that's a bubble player. Probably a good player. And Bati's up against Zen and Radisson. So he's up against the big Vitality duo. And right off the rip, we notice that a goal gets conceded. Let's see what happens here. So Bati goes for kickoff. He pushes up the field thinking his teammate has a beat. Radisson actually has a great cut from the side. Gets a beat. And it leads to a goal. Um... Yeah, you could say Vati pushed up a little too aggressive and it led to a goal. But at the same time, honestly, that was a good cut from Radisson. So, um, or Radosin. I probably am saying the name wrong. I'm sorry. But this is going to be a very tough game for Vati to win. So, I'm very curious. Um, now, when I think of Vati, I think of him being like one of the smartest players. Uh, I think of him being one of, typically one of the smartest players. If you watch his RLCS matches, you notice how good he is. But the question is, how good does he do against someone like Zen, right, in 2v2? Because Zen's obviously one of the best people. Brilliant fake right off the rip. This is beautiful. So, Vati catches it. He sees someone challenges him. So, most high-level players are either going to opt to dribble over them with an air drag, or they try to flip reset it, right? What does he do? He catches his flip reset. Gets one to bite. He understands it. Now, besides panicking and using his reset, he catches it with a dodge. That way he can dribble it. Now his teammate has a 1v2 bump opportunity. Let's see if they capitalize. Wow. And that is why we just watched a replay on Zen. I don't mean to like say anything, but my gosh. I got to watch this save. That is so impressive. Obviously, it should have looked like it should have been a bump, but wow. Got to give credit when credit's due. Um, but great play from Vati to get it set up. Now he has low boost. He's going to retreat. He's probably going to try to buy time, bait him in. Yep, he does. So he fakes it. Another dude. Wow. I mean, I'm going to be real. This is imp This is like, he's just so good at knowing when he wants to take his time with the ball. You know, a lot of a lot of high-level pros will try to air drag this to full field. But he knows Radosin is going to go off the ceiling and try to pre-jump him. So he fakes it, catches it, and now he's got some space. It's another good low 50. And you can honestly start seeing why his play style works so well on threes. And it gets them a goal here, right? Hyder goes around the wall. Zen's a little awkward. He finds a tough angle and both players aren't ready. But that whole play came from Vati taking his time with the ball in the corner and catching it and making a good play. Um, remember, guys, if you are in high level games, remember Vati's up against two of the best pros right now. Um, Vitality, obviously one of the best teams up and coming right now. Just picking up Zen, doing good at the last land. So, remember guys, if it's working against someone like um, these two, it's got to be working for your guys' rank, whatever you're at. But let's get back into it. What happens? Vati gets a 50. He doesn't He doesn't think Zen will chow, so he kind of does a little fake jump to try to get him to hesitate. Zen gets a great demo, and it's a goal for Vidosin. Um, You know, it's, it's a good play. I would say um, Vati, Zen definitely called Vati's bluff there on uh, if he was going to go or not. But uh, let's see what happens here. Let's keep it going. Yeah, the whole point of these is kind of to make these games like two replays. And I try to go in depth with it. And for some reason, y'all love the last one so much. I don't know if it's just someone else high level talking about it or what. But um, I do appreciate the support on these videos, guys. Um, but so getting back into it. Bati is honestly known to play more of a safe play style. He can't. Wow, he goes for another control here. Dude, I'm going to be real. I think the biggest thing I'm taking away is so far off the start of this game is how much he always controls the ball. I personally, being like a top 100 player, not as good as these guys, right? I would have boomed the ball here to my teammate to try to hit it to him in the space because I thought this was awkward. But he fakes it, goes down, wave dash, catches it, and now settles for a 50. So he would rather him be in possession of the, the ball, right? Playing the 50s than hitting it to his teammate. Zin with a great flip reset. Brilliant patience from Bati, knowing not to challenge that. Um, let's see what happens. Zen pops it high. Vati's got low boost. It's a good save, man. He knows he has low boost, so he's going to try to play the high shot. And, or he can play the low. A lot of players like to do this play, typically the squishy save. 
because they can have momentum coming in and out of the goal so they can dive high dive low at, at high speeds if a shot's coming in fast some people go for squishy saves at useless times that was a viable time that was a nice time to use it Hyder getting beat to the ball Vati looking like he's trying to trust a little bit but it's kind of backstabbing him right he leaves the play for a second his teammate gets beat um and that's the second time his teammates gotten beat like that um, this, I would say the second goal was a little bit of Bati, um, Zen calling Bati's bluff. The first goal was a kickoff goal that Hyder got dusted to on the side from Radosin and that goal as well. Uh, but good play from uh, Hyder getting a flip reset over, Bati being in the right position, um, seeing both of them double commit, and he knows he has a free goal. Nice play. So right off kickoff, jumping back into it. Bati has a free shot. Let's see if he slots this. Yeah. See, I feel like players like him are just on another level when it comes to like, yeah, obviously you should score this, right? But the difference is when you watch his RLCS matches and stuff, he always scores these no matter what. It feels like every open shot he has, he scores, you know, and that's a big reason of what, what, what makes him so good. Him and first killer, I honestly like, I don't know how many people are going to agree with this, but I really think him and first killer play very similar roles in ways like the way, and when I say similar roles, I mean like play styles as well, mainly, I guess, um, like they always if they have an open double touch it feels like they hit it every time if they have a good flip reset opportunity it feels like they hit it every time if they have a good shot it feels like they hit it every time i feel like that's what makes him on another level compared to like some of these other tier uh pro players right you know it's the consistency dude it is so cool watching zin and vati in the same lobby just the stuff that they're able to do is just awesome to watch like it's it's such a high level lobby um but let's see what happens here so far, we have a tie game, though, and this is no easy tie game for Vati. Um, his teammate, honestly, has made a couple mistakes, but he looks pretty solid for the most part. Vati tries to get in the way of it, goes for a bump. He's going to rotate back post, take his time here. Zen getting another double. This might be a goal. That is such a 200 IQ block. So Zen has to bail out Hyder because he can't read Zen's touch. So now, after he gets an unexpected touch, he tries. He forces himself to play the second block because he knows the shot's coming in. Again, this is one of those plays where players like him think three steps ahead instead of just two steps ahead like the average pro, right? So he goes in, gets the block, and it's a great block, and now his team doesn't get scored on. And now Hyder has a breakout opportunity. Doesn't get the best touch, but, you know, it's little things like that is what makes Vati such a, a incredible player. Goes for the flip reset catch. That was so smart, and it gets them a goal. So let's break this down real quick. So he notices Radosin gets a bad touch here. He can beat him to it. So he hits it. Notice how Vati always never just gets one touch on the ball. The best pros, Zen, Vati, as you can tell in this lobby, always constant, or just in general, always can get more than one touch on the ball. And he gets a pinch touch, a nice shot. And next thing you know, they have a goal. You know, it's a great play. So getting back into it, let's see what happens. Vati soft cheats. Gets a little antsy on a dive here. This might lead to a goal. Good save. Good save from his teammate. Again, Vati trying to keep it close. Gets multiple touches and gets another goal. You guys see what I'm talking about. Players like this always try to opt for more touches. Notice how he pre-flips into the under... Uh, notice how Vati pre ugh, Notice how Vati pre-flips to the underside of the ball trying to keep it close which he does succeed with it getting a dunk on Radosin because he doesn't expect it next thing you know he capitalizes on a bad touch from Radosin's 50 and he gets a goal it's a great play man great play from Bati I am very surprised he's winning this lobby when I download these replays I honestly just take the most recent ones that I see are close games because I like to see like the mistakes they make what they're doing well you know what I mean so I and, and all, honestly cool it's cool to see him playing against other really high level players because sometimes these pros will play like lower level people in ranked, you know, depending on the queue times. But he, um, but he, I like seeing him play against high level pros. Let's see what happens here. It seems like he tries to 50 the ball, doesn't get the most of it. Zen capitalizes with a goal. Um, okay, let's jump right back into it. So, Vati's like swinging around, bro. He's getting kind of wild. I like it. Reminds me of me if I was uh, Meki, right? Um, but 50 seconds left. Let's see how aggressive he gets. I'm kind of curious here. Insta chows that he doesn't want to be left as a, in a bad spot. So he insta chows this because he knows his team. Actually, I don't know, man. This is, a, this is one of those challenges where maybe he, I'm guessing he went here because he saw Zen and Radosin kind of like locked up together. Um, so he figured if he went, it wouldn't be that big of a threat if he gets a little ball touch. He'll probably go off the ceiling here. 
Dude, one thing I noticed, he always... He, he chows immediately every time he thinks he can hit the ball. Right? Like, other... Like, me, I have hesitation a lot of the times when I go for the ball. Um, dude, great touches. Again, guys, remember, he's keeping the ball close every chance he can. And it's little touches like that which make him so damn good, dude. Rodosin going for a demo. Zen do or, um, Rado or Vati dodges it. Zen's trying to snap it in. But Vati is not buying it. Obviously one of the best defenders in the world. I'm um, just going to keep fake challenging. Waiting for Zen to give the ball up. Goes off the ceiling. Tries to play his touch. Recognizes he can't get to it. And that's game. Overall, really well played game from Vati. Let's jump in the next one and see how he does as well. This one, we have another pro lobby. It looks like these games could have been near the same day. We have Radosin again in the lobby um, against Yukio. I'm not sure how uh, much Yukio is in the pro scene nowadays because I don't follow it EU too much, but let's check this game out. Um, I don't know who his teammate is, Vati's, um, but let's check out this game. Again, Vati keeping it close. That's probably going to get them a goal. It will. So, guys, as you can tell, notice how Vati always keeps the ball close. Remember, if you are at any level, if this is working at the highest level of Rocket League, guys, if you are GC3, Champ, Diamond, Plat, keeping the ball close is one of the best things you can do. Notice how he forces them into it. Two people bait him in. He baits two people and he gets a high. Yukio's awkward, thinks it's going in, and his teammate has a goal. It's little things like that that you guys need to always be keeping in mind if you're playing these ranked lobbies or even trying to go at a higher level, right? Um, Radosin with a mistouch. His teammate's actually going to have a 1v1. Vati going to play it safe. Knows Yukio's going to get a clear out. He's going to try to keep this ball close again. Doesn't get the best touch, though. So, um, what's he going to do? Out back. He's probably going to try to keep it close again. He catches it with a wave dash. Flips forward. Low boost. He's probably going to try to take the boost from Yukio. He, and he does get it. Smart play. Now Yukio has low boost. He's going to stay on the ball again. And let's see what he does. Again, he just constantly keeps the ball close. Um, he keeps the ball a lot closer than most pros, I will say. Maybe that's probably a big reason why he has such success, um, if I had to guess. Definitely a big part. You know, like I was saying earlier in the last game, his core mechanics are so solid. It feels like anytime he wants to do something with the ball, he can pretty much do it. Um, right here, again, I contradict myself. Jinxing when I'm watching these replays, I swear I've done it so many times, but... It is what it is. Um, a little bit aggressive, a little bit too aggressive from both players. So Vati can't get there, um, but he probably thinks uh, the Chrono guy should easily have it, which he overcommitted hard. Honestly, I would not put that on Vati that goal. Um, not just because we're watching his replay, but his teammate did overcommit a little, way too hard there, in my opinion. Vati gonna take his time again. He's gonna bait the defender, pops it high, gets a beautiful touch. Goes for the flip reset, but can't get to it because it's a little too far away. That's what happens on my my flip resets all the time. I know y'all can relate to this. Every time you go for a flip reset, it feels like a ball just kind of pops away from your car, right? But the best players match the speed of the ball. Um, that was a good save. But the key to flip resets is matching the speed of play with the uh, matching the speed of the ball with your car speed because then it keeps it close. Um, but back into it. Let's see. Uh, Fati has a nice beat. Again, he's low on boost, trying to get some chain dashes to kind of keep close to the ball, get some more momentum. That's one of those things, dude, I cannot chain dash to save my life. I don't know if my hands are just too old now that I'm like, you know, I'm getting older, but Radosin kind of trying to style a little bit on Vati. Now he's getting bumped. Um, His teammate dives out of the play. Vati just sitting back waiting for Radosin. I do like how patient he plays, though. Like, if I was more, I'm not going to say I play like Vati because I don't. Like, he's obviously a thousand times better than me. But just the way that he likes to take his time, he doesn't like to rush things at all. And it's it's honestly a really, like, if you're a new player trying to come up, usually people always try to copy the most mechanical players. But I wish more people would co uh, copy pros like Vati. Like, he's all he just plays reserved, safe, tries to play the best situation at the best time. Like, every time he gets to the ball, he tries to 50 it, hit it back, make it less confusion for his teammate. You know, look at look how much damage he just did right there with low boost. Now he's going to get a demo. He's, it feels like he's always doing something on the field. He's going to go mid for his teammate. Probably going to be a risky ball to go for, so he's not going to go. Smart play. 50s this. Cuts it off quick. His teammate has good positioning there. 
Gets a miss. Vati's just going to fake chow because he knows he's beat. Not worth diving in the corner. Look at this. Look at these fake challenges here. Knows he's beat. Doesn't go. Knows he's beat again because his teammate cuts so he doesn't go. It's little things like that, guys. Again, that make him so damn good. Verdosin's going to go for a flip reset. He's going to play a little more passive. Waits for it. That's what I expected. Goes high. Gets it around one. Guys, remember, if you're trying to get the ball on over somebody quick, look what Vati does here. He goes instantly to the straight ceiling because he sees a challenge coming lower on the wall. And he holds a wave dash to keep his dodge, but he can't reach it. But he gets a good 50 because of that wave dash to hold his dodge. His teammate's getting chased. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes in front of him. His teammate didn't get demoed, though, so he waited for his teammate to go. Smart play. Pops it high. Again, trying to keep it close. Oh, my gosh. I thought he scored that. That would have been nasty. His teammate committed, so now Vati's in a 1v2. Redosin rushed it, though. Not the best play, I would say. I, I will say he probably tries to keep this close again. Yep, every time, guys. He tries to keep the ball close every time in twos that he can. And that's a big reason. Another big overcommit from his teammate. Guys, listen, I'm telling you, this is why, like, when you're the highest in the lobby, no, Vati's probably the highest in the lobby, right? He's always really high up on the boards. Look at his teammate. Like, it almost feels like there's a lot of mistakes that are going to happen. But these are the times where the good players try to see if they can, like, the good players can bounce back and get a win from these with these uneven teams that most people would think are like un unwinnable lobbies, right? Like the Daniels, the beast modes, they win these lobbies that like most people don't think are even possible to win. So now let's see if he can come back. Honestly, guys, I don't know if he, if they win this game. Now it looks like I know if they win. Um, I really don't. I pick two replays that I see are close games. I never even look at the score, but a double commit coming out of the other team and they get a free goal. Vati with a delayed kickoff. You can tell that he tries hard and ranked. I remember he tweeted something like, uh, what was it? He tweeted something like he got in a conversation with somebody on Twitter about like them not trying hard enough and ranked. And he was like, you should always try and rank. It helps you improve And low key. You can kind of see it from his gameplay. Like he delays kickoffs. Oh my gosh. What was that? Full field gets a beautiful first touch. Touches it again, goes for the reset with 12 boost, gets it over one, gets the double touch. That is just unbelievable. And the other team FF right there. Guys, well, I enjoyed this video again. I do appreciate you guys for watching. Um, let me know what player you guys would like to watch next and uh, have a good day.